Welcome and thank you for coming to the launch of the most anticipated bike for Rally for 2020. My name's Lee Kidger and I'm Managing Director here at Rally UK. It's been a pleasure to take a look back at the 1980 Tour de France. We've all been swept by the hype of when Yoke won the Tour de France on this iconic bike. Today we'll take you through a specification walk around. We'll also answer your questions that you've already sent in and we'll even hear directly from Yoke himself. First, here's Jason with the specification. Hi, I'm Jason Baroness and I'm the product manager for the Rally TI 40th anniversary bike. To recreate this bike, we have to turn the clock back to 1980. The main part of the bike is the frame. So in the creation of the frame, we actually sourced an original geometry chart from Yope's tour winning bike. We did a previous bike, TI bike, in 2012 to celebrate 125 years of Rally. That was basically a modern bike on a steel frame. This is a steel frame on retro componentry, so no index gears, no padded handlebar tape, it is full on back to the 1980s. And on that note, let's take a closer look at the rest of the bike. For the cockpit, we've gone with uh, Cinelli's Giro d'Italia classic handlebar, along with their classic handlebar stem. That then feeds into this lovely Campagnolo record headset, an original feature on the original team bikes as the 1980s team were sponsored by Campagnolo. Braking, again, taken care of at the front and the rear by Campagnolo Centurion uh, calipers. So these are you know, really great, nice, strong caliper. Brake lever wise, um, we've gone with this nice retro looking Diacompi brake lever featuring a nice tan hood. So really in that sort of like 80s feel. And again, cloth bar tape, giving you that true retro vibe. On the wheels, we've worked with Mavic, who again, were one of the original sponsors back in the day. As you can see, we've replicated the uh, Mavic decal that was used on the classic rims of the time. Hubs, again, we've followed a similar design to what would have been used back in the day on large flange hubs, using a Sheriff Star pattern. Yeah, really nice seal bearing hub. Tire-wise, we've gone with Challenge, which is a you know, fantastic handmade tire brand. Super lightweight, aramid folding beads, you know, probably one of the best road tires you can get for this sort of era bicycle. You'll find on most modern bikes, they've all got index gears. Well, this one is turning the clock back 40 years, so we're ruining with friction shifters. So anybody that's never ridden friction shifters, you're in for a treat. The shifters come through to the rear derailleur. The rear derailleur is, again, Campagnolo, one of the original team sponsors from in the 80s. This one is a Veloci rear derailleur. The Veloci is one of the few all aluminium rear derailleurs still produced by Campagnolo, so it fits in perfectly with this retro feel. The front derailleur also is Campagnolo, again, Veloci. The original frames from the 1980s period used a band on front mech. Today they're only available in brazon so we've had to adapt it with a band clamp so it allows the frame to still retain its original features. The front chain ring is a double chain set running two aluminium chain rings both CNC machined. The chain set crank arms are a replica of the original 1980s style that would have been used on this bike. You can also see just vaguely here the cable stops. The cable stops again are what's known as diver's helmet style. So, you know, this whole bike, whole frame has a full on 1980s feel to it. Last but not least, the saddle. The saddle is a Selle Italia Turbo 1980 saddle. This is possibly one of the most iconic saddle shapes from that period in time too. It's been a real pleasure for me to work on this project. It's such an iconic piece of machinery piece of history for the company and I hope you enjoy the bike as much as I've enjoyed working on it. Thanks Jason, I'm sure we'll all enjoy riding the bike as much as you enjoyed designing it. Now let's look back at the champion rider Yoke Sports when he re received his 40th edition TI Rally and recalls his experience with the original back in 1980.
Goh, wat hebben ze hier nou neergezet? Van Rally, 40 jaar geleden, 1980. Ja, dat was de toeroverwinning in 1980. We gaan eens kijken wat er in die doos zit, hè. Goh, jongens, hè. dat is een verrassing. Dat is een, een fiets van 40 jaar terug. Nou, dat ziet er heel mooi uit, zeg. Het zijn exact dezelfde kleuren van vroeger. Van hart tot boven is 72. Dat moet er goed zijn. Ik kan het zo wel proberen vandaag. Nou goed, hier staan de, de rallyfietsen. Die hier links van mij, dat is die van de Tour de France van 1980. En hier rechts staat, staat de nieuwe. Goed, die nieuwe die glimt een beetje meer dan die van rechts. Want die kleuren zijn een beetje verschoten. En dan zit hier en daar een, ja, een beetje verf eraf. Maar verder ziet hij er nog prima uit. En hij fietst nog prima. Maar nu met die, met die nieuwe fiets helemaal dezelfde kleuren, dezelfde stickers, dezelfde materiaal erop. Met, met Reynolds buizen, met kampioenmateriaal materiaal erop. Het is allemaal, uh, allemaal primo. Ik zou zeggen voor de, voor de liefhebbers. Stap er een keer op en probeer het hem een keer. Ja, het is een unieke fiets geworden. Nou, ik heb natuurlijk maar één toer gewonnen en dat is op een rallyfiets. Dus het is wel een speciale, ja, een speciale fiets natuurlijk. Maar dat het, zo, dat het zo zou lopen dit jaar, dat had ik nooit verwacht. Een rallyfiets die ze weer op de markt gebracht hebben. Dus het is ja, een heel speciaal jaar. Een speciale moment in de Tours van 1980, dat was ja, een hele slechte start natuurlijk. In de tweede week ging het iets beter. En het is ook wel gebleken. Raas die wint twee ritten, Kneteman die wint een rit, Lubbering die wint een rit, uh, Oosterbos die wint een rit. En met de ploegentijd zitten erbij. Ja, er zijn er toch, toch, toch elf ritten die rally wint. Het is toch wel een heel, uh, ja, heel positief uh, aantal. En in, uh, ja, in de laatste week was het natuurlijk weer uh, oude, de oude zoete melk, laten we het zo zeggen. Nou, uh, we hadden, in die tijd hadden we twee fietsen, dus een, uh, de koersfiets en de reservefiets. We deden alles met dezelfde fiets, dus de tijdritten deden met dezelfde fiets, de bergritten deden met dezelfde fiets. En de gewone rit ook, en de kassaie rit ook, dus uh, we, hadden, we hadden maar eigenlijk maar één fiets. Ik was heel uh, zuinig op mijn materiaal, ik kon er heel goed mee overweg. Ik moest goed materiaal hebben, daar was ik uh, heel, heel uh, secuur op. Maar nu het allemaal weer een beetje gewoon geworden is, ben ik weer gaan fietsen en ik rij zoveel mogelijk mijn kleine rondje. Dus dat wil zeggen, ik ga tussen half negen en negen uur weg. Ik ben tussen half twaalf en twaalf uur weer terug, dus ik rij zo'n vijftig, tussen de vijftig en zestig kilometer. Ik rij nog wel eens op mijn oude fiets van veertig jaar terug, maar dat is toch niet hetzelfde als deze. Deze is toch weer iets soepeler, iets nieuwer, het is allemaal, allemaal formidabel gemonteerd. Het is een, een blinkende fiets natuurlijk. Wat mij erg opgevallen is, ik ben erop gestapt en ik ben erop weggereden. Het leek wel of, of, die, of ik 40 jaar jonger was. So that was a pleasure to hear from Yoke on all of his experience from the 1980 Tour de France and looking at the new bike. I'm now here with Jason. Hi. Uh, Jason is the uh, project manager for the, for the uh, Rally TI and we're going to go through some of the questions that you've been sending in. So Jason, where are the bikes made? So the, as the original one Lee, the tubes are actually made by Reynolds in Birmingham. Um, they're still making tubes in England. Uh, 753, which we've used for this bike, was specially commissioned just for this project. So it's, it's been out of uh, circulation for many years, but Reynolds, being an original TI sponsor, agreed to remake the tubing for us. So tubing made in Birmingham, we then shipped it to Taiwan, where the frames are actually built using a Reynolds 753 accredited frame builder. And from there, the bikes were also assembled in Taiwan um, and then shipped back to England. So uh, a mixture of UK and Taiwan. So Jason, are the dropouts Campagnolo? They're not, Leo, unfortunately. Uh, Campag or Campagnolo um, have made dropouts for many, many years now. Um, but also because these bikes have to be 
tested and conformed to the latest EN ISO standards, we had to go with a quite a strong laser cut dropout for these bikes, but uh, it still follows a, an original design of the uh, dropouts. So what made you choose the uh, Campagnolo group set? The main decision was that Campagnolo were TI team sponsor back in the day, so obviously that was the first, first choice of group set. The reason, another reason we chose them um, is that you know Campagnolo again is iconic from that period. Um, today's Campagnolo record um, we couldn't have really used because if you look at the bike, the original bike behind you, it's using a nice silver alloy chain set, Adrelias, etc. Today's Campagnolo is all carbon fiber. So to create that period look, we went to Campagnolo. Um, and their current alloy derailleur is Veloci. So with some agreements, they reproduce the Veloci derailleurs, but mark them Campagnolo. So it's got a bit more of a period um, look to that bike. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it certainly adds to the styling, doesn't it? Definitely. So as we can see here, the gear ratios are slightly different to um, what, we, what we would normally use in the 20th century. What was our decision behind choosing them gear ratios? So on the, on the new bike, we're using, it's a 10 speed cassette, the Campagnolo again, uh, with a 13-29 ratio. So it's, you know, it's a nice, yeah. nice ratio for pretty much most people. With a 3950 uh, double chain set up the front. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's much more friendly, much more usable than the, the group set that was on the original bike. Um, you don't need legs of uh, steel to pedal that far <laughs> on the flat. So, so Jason, uh, another question is, uh, how much does the bike weigh? Well, the bike with pedals fitted, as I know a lot of people weigh them without pedals, weighs in at 22.28 pounds. So uh, it's a fairly good weight for a steel bike, I would say. Yes. So for those people who want to buy a frame only, what sort of um, information will they need to, to build the bike themselves? So the frame is uh, uses standard 68mm bottom bracket shell, BS threaded, so yeah, no problems there. Head tube is a standard one inch threaded head tube, so quill stem. Seat post is classic 27.2 um, diameter seat post, so uh, very, very standard traditional sizings. So it means that people can uh, can put their own parts on if they'd like to. Yeah, yeah. If you buy a frame set, you could, and you, you know, you were prepared to source an original Campag uh, Super Record group set, you could rebuild it using that, no problems. So nice. That was part of the whole of the, the goal of the project, really. Yeah. So, what frame sizes are available in this bike? So, as a frame set or a bike, it will come in a starting size of 50, and then goes to 53, 56, 59 and 61. And is the geometry the same as the original? The geometry is based on Yoke's 56 centimeter frame geometry, which fortunately, having uh, an archive like Rally does, we were, we were able to dig that out of the archive and entered all that geometry into SolidWorks, where we then blew the sizes up or down, depending on the frame size. So every, every frame is geometry correct, um, as it should be, um, with the original being based on his 56 centimetre. So if you buy a 56 centimetre, you're basically riding what he would have been riding. So, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Does the bike come with pedals and straps? It does, yes. Um, as you can see on that bike behind you, it's got Campagnolo record quill pedals on. And what we wanted to do was replicate those pedals. So we reached out to the Japanese maker MKS, who make a, a really good looking replica of the uh, Campag pedal. Um, so we fitted that to the bike. It comes with black leather straps, steel toe clips. So yeah, everything is you know, period correct. Lovely. So for those lucky people that will either buy one of the bikes or frames, will they receive a certificate of authenticity? Yes, they will. Um, every bike will come with a certificate. It will be numbered to match the number of the bike. So every bike is uniquely serial numbered. And the actual certificate has also been signed by Yoke. Um, so you're, you know, you're going to get a, a really nice piece of documentation to go with your bike, which you can you know, frame, put on the, on the wall. Brilliant. So, yeah, very cool. Thanks, Jason, for answering all of them questions. If we didn't manage to get around to answering your question, 
don't worry, our team of experts are on hand. There's a chat box facility just to the right and we'll be able to answer your question. So the product page is now live, exclusive to yourselves. It will be made available later on to everybody else. So if you're really eager to buy and you want to get yourself one of these limited bikes or frames, pop over to the product page now. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.